uh, which is business is the consideration of petition PE1073 by Tom Minogue, and that's calling for the Scottish Parliament to investigate and establish the reasons for the apparently disproportionate number of Catholics in Scottish prisons recently referred to us by the Public Petitions Committee. Members have received papers 2, 3 and 4 on the petition, including a briefing from SPICE and a copy of the petition itself. Some further information supplied by the petitioner has since also been circulated to members. Could I inv invite members to contribute at this point, please? John. John Finney. Um, Kavir, I, I found this a bit difficult, and I have to say, and uh, I spent some time uh, going through the information that's been provided, which was very helpful. Um, and I don't think that perhaps a particular tax suggested by the petitioner is the, the one that um, is most constructive. I'm deeply concerned at the high proportion of people we feel the need to incarcerate, and I hope that we can take steps to reduce that. Indeed, I, I think that is happening. Mm -hmm. I'm also concerned that we have the level of areas of deprivation that we still do, and um, to the extent that we can do something, I think the government is doing things about that. So I, I prefer to concentrate on these two areas rather than, particularly given, you know, We've, we've, we've heard from the, the previous I, item there the complexity there is around definitions and the gathering of data. I, I don't think this is as clear-cut as perhaps a petitioner, who I, I don't doubt is acting in good faith, uh, is, is suggesting. Um, and um, I, I think there has been due consideration given to this matter, and it is part of the general trying to make us a healthier safer and fairer place that will pick up on, on any matters uh, rather than particularly going in this line. Uh, other members who wish to come in at this stage? Stuart? Um, I actually agree with uh, my colleague John there in terms of uh, just looking at this. Um, I don't think there is a, uh, I don't think there's an easy answer um, to, to this uh, situation. Uh, one thing that did um, strike me re when reading the, the, the public petition um, and uh, the information that's been provided uh, was in terms of uh, is there a, a regional imbalance in Scotland in terms of uh, the, the numbers of uh, Roman Catholics who actually go to prison. Uh, so I, I, I don't know. I mean, also, I mean, we did just hear from the Cabinet Secretary in terms of uh, sometimes a shortage of data, uh, and I don't know if that data would actually be available or not uh, through the justice system. Um, but I, I, I genuinely don't know uh, what the answer is uh, to, uh, to the, the paper that's been uh, provided to us and, uh, and as to what we do next. Thank you. Uh, any other views from members, please? Margaret. I think it was quite interesting looking at the SPICE um, briefing where uh, I think it was looked at the number of Catholics in the, mm. the population mm. and the number who are in prison. Also, the Muslim, Muslim community seemed to be in the same boat in that the, uh, you could say there was a disproportionate number of uh, Muslims in, in prison compared to the number that are in the, um, in the community. So I don't think anything looking at this over the last four years has been established that there is actually discrimination per se against Roman Catholics, but there did seem to be um, some concern around um, the levels of deprivation and age. And therefore, if we're looking purely in terms of what the petitioner came to us with in the first instance, which was um, quite specifically about discrimination, then I think we have empirical evidence that that isn't, in fact, the case. And therefore, the question would become, um, does the Scottish Government perhaps <coughs> want to take up some of these issues of deprivation and age? but I don't think it would be something for this committee at this stage um, in terms of this petition to look at. Other members who wish to come in at this stage? Dennis Robertson. Yes, thank you. Um, it's primarily the same. Um, I didn't actually see it as being a, a faith question. Um, I think it is endemic, perhaps in certain parts of Scotland, that there, there is certain sectors where deprivation is higher. Um, and I think it's just sometimes coincidental 
that that perhaps there's maybe um, maybe a higher number of people of a particular faith. Um, so I actually didn't see for myself in, in reading the papers that there was a discriminatory question there. Um, and I think, like the other members of the committee, uh, I think it's something we need to tackle. Um, rather, it's a deprivation question, and looking at some of the poverty and age questions as well, uh, but not one of faith. Uh, other members? Um, uh, as, as convener, I, well, not as convener, actually, as a member of the committee, I'd like to say that um, uh, I, I've certainly taken this very seriously, as I'm sure all other members of the committee have, and, and read in, in detail what has been submitted, including what was submitted by the petitioner, uh, Tom Minogue, um, since the weekend. And uh, uh, my view is that... Uh, as, as things stand at the moment, I can't actually see any evidence uh, of there being discrimination um, against um, any faith group, specifically um, ca Catholics within the, within the justice system itself from the evidence that we've received, and I wanted to, to highlight that point. I, I also feel in view of um, the attempts over so many years for different faith groups to uh, be working together um, in communities um, and particularly um, the, the efforts of government to support deprived communities which I hope that and believe strongly that the, if I may say so the Scottish government is determined to do at the moment and, and I believe that has cross party support that uh, I, I think that it, it would be perhaps more helpful uh, to be looking at um, continuing to uh, work to support all those who are in deprived communities um, across Scotland mm -hmm. rather than um, going forward to identify um, the, um, the community in question, particularly as ones um, to single out. Uh, that's just a, a, personal, a personal view within that. Um, are, there, are there other comments to, to make? Uh, in that case, could I um, invite the committee members to um, consider the possible courses of action which were um, indicated in, in one of the briefings. Um, we have certain options. Um, this was um, from uh, the note uh, advising of possible directions and we should be aware that this, well, we're all aware I know that this um, petition has been before the Parliament for um, some considerable time. Uh, and I, I think uh, I would like to just highlight to members the possible course of option um, at the moment so we can make a decision on this, uh, on this petition. We could either write to the Scottish Government ur urging it to undertake further work or we could take um, no further action and uh, the committee may choose to close the petition on the basis that its main request to establish the reasons for the disparity has been fulfilled. The petitioner could be informed of the outcome and supplied with copies of the correspondence received from the Scottish Government and the findings of the literature review which was done. Uh, or, um, indeed, committee members may choose to take a different course of action which we haven't yet um, we haven't yet discussed. So could I open that to members, please, now, uh, to, to give views on, on the petition? Thank you. You know, it, it struck me when we had the papers that this has had a really good airing, and I don't think anyone could challenge the fact that uh, it's been examined, re-examined, and we have very up-to-date information. Um, I would favour option two, um, uh, and I, I'm very happy to formally propose that. That said, as, as you touched on in your own remarks earlier, I think this committee has an obligation to continue to look at issues around um, disposals of criminal cases and indeed areas of deprivation. Um, and and, and I, I'm sure over the course of the Parliament that will happen. But as regards this specific, I would formally propose option two. Could I ask if um, other members wish to speak? Um, along those lines, first of all. Second that, um, convener. Right. Uh, are there any members who wish to um, put a, a different option forward, either one that we have had on the table already or, or a different view? Stuart. Thank you. Um, 
As I said in my, in my remarks earlier, that, uh, I, mean, I think uh, that this is an extremely uh, kind of difficult issue. Uh, and uh, one of the points I mentioned in my comments uh, was regarding a regional imbalance. Um, uh, and I don't know uh, what the answer is to this. And sometimes in politics, well, in the main in politics, you're supposed to, when you ask a question, you're supposed to know what the answer is. Uh, but uh, I'll throw caution to the wind. Um, I actually, uh, I would be keen to maybe try and get uh, maybe a bit more information in terms of the regional imbalance uh, to see if, um, what the situation is. I mean, um, in terms of, because in the past, when, when you read uh, some reports and, uh, and different figures uh, 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 are highlighted in terms of, uh, it seems to be the, uh, kind of a small number of electoral uh, council wards that have the highest percentage of people who go to prison, and it seems to be the same wards uh, time and time again. Now, I'd be keen to establish uh, uh, if there is any, uh, any link to these particular wards uh, and, uh, and what's uh, potentially maybe suggested uh, within the petition. Um, and to see uh, what the situation is in terms of media across the country. Is it something that's really focused towards Glasgow and the West, or is, it, uh, is there a, a other incidents uh, in other parts of the country as well? So um, I'd, I'd be keen to um, kind of follow option one, um, just uh, certainly in the, in, the, uh, in the short term, um, just to, uh, to hopefully kind of maybe clarify um, uh, maybe some of the questions uh, that I do have, uh, and then uh, at some point in the future, uh, if, this, if this were to come back to us, uh, then uh, take a decision on the information uh, that we then have. But um, I think certainly uh, between option one, uh, adding in the, the, the parts about the, um, any questions about regional imbalance, I'd be keen to, uh, I'd be keen to do. Um, I think so far there are two members who, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, wish to um, have the petition closed at the moment, and uh, Stuart suggested uh, some further research about regional imbalance. Is there anyone who wants to support that or, or put a different option? I'm happy to support Stuart in, in looking for more information. I think um, the information has shown that um, it's probably less a particular issue for Roman Catholics and much more an issue to do with deprivation. Um, but having um, discovered that, I think that, that, that there is something we should be taking forward on this, um, perhaps um, looking at it not, not just from the Catholic point of view but the Muslim point of view as well. Dennis. Uh, thank you, Convener. Um, I'm now in a, a quite a quandary on this in some respects, but I was before I came in, but it, it hasn't helped in some, dis in, in some respects. Um, in, in many respects, I actually do um, support option two um, <clears throat> on the basis that I think we've already said that uh, I don't see there as discrimination uh, with regard to faith within the petition. So I think it's time to close the petition. However, um, I do think that maybe there is further work needing to be done um, as Stuart and Claire has both um, suggested. But I think with reference to this particular petition, uh, I think there is a closure there uh, in respect of the nature of the petition. That doesn't prevent this committee looking and continuing to look at uh, the prison population, reasons why people are in prison, and whether or not there is any specific um, postcode um, aspects to um, uh, the deprivation or poverty as to why people are uh, actually in prison. So um, I think I am supportive of option two. Are there other comments? Yes, Sam. Thanks, Chair. Um, really, to be taking option two for some of, of what's been listed before and what's been mentioned before, because I think it is, you know, it's like any greater so deprivation in Scotland and, and those areas. Um, and obviously with the proviso that and a clear understanding that there are going to be some further work taken within this committee is reassuring. Um, I think in view of what members have said, if members are in agreement with this proposal, that um, I think we, we should um, put forward that we close the petition and that um, in relation to that specific aspect of it and that we also uh, could ask the Scottish Government to look at uh, um, 
to do some research into areas of deprivation in regard to um, regional and postcode issues, uh, both in terms of de deprivation specifically, but also in relation to prison population. And then we could ask the Scottish Government if those, um, that information could be brought back to, well, we would, we would make a commitment to look at that, uh, that research when it comes back um, from the Scottish Government. Are members agreeable to that? Yes. Right, thank you very much. Right, that closes uh, that section of the, of the business of the committee. So I thank those members of the public who have attended today and wish everyone a safe journey back. <laughs>